Hey there, welcome back to another Top 5 Place, episode 281. This video is brought to you by Loot Crate, and we will be doing another crate giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. But without further ado, let's jump into some plays. Starting us off at number 5, we have Kaiyu Ketsu Hime on Misfortune. This game is looking bad for the blue team. The Nexus is wide open and they have two teammates down. The red team are looking to end the game. However, Thresh catches Zyra with a death sentence and Kaiyu Ketsu unleashes the sneakiest of bullet times and absolutely shreds the enemy team. Take a look at the great make it rain, slowing down anyone who tries to reach her. Coming in at number four, we have Demonic Pro on Twitch. Now we see a lot of Twitch plays on the top five where the enemy team is distracted and Twitch comes out of nowhere and deletes them all. However, Demonic is a man and a rat, so a rat man. He has no reason to sneak up on anyone. Demonic's teammates are getting picked off one by one. Poor Karthus gets impaled and pulled back into the void, but Demonic takes advantage of this grim situation and puts enough damage on Cassiopeia and forces Zillion to alter. Demonic activates ambush and prepares himself for the final fight. The red team get together to take down the turret, and right when it goes down, Demonic strikes, he flashes dredge line, and he completely obliterates the red team, a well-earned Penta from the Ratman. Two fresh champs coming up on the list, starting with Zim Zim on Nar. The fight for Elder Dragon is about to go down. Zim Zim is trying to get his rage going to activate Meganar. Soraka tries to zone him with the Equinox, but Zim takes advantage of the oncoming enemies. Double hops and slams four into the wall. It's followed up with a beautiful Dragon Rage into Brand's Pyroclasm. Riven tries to come in and redeem her teammates, but sadly, she's not the one submitting the play, so it doesn't quite work out. She comes back to life only to go back to sleep, and the ace is acquired on the replay. Check out the nice war jump from the Lee Sin. He goes in, knocks up all at wait. Hey, Warwick didn't get knocked up. Game requires a redo. At number two, we have the Zotus playing the Moon Mistress, Diana. The red team is in the middle of Baron and Zotus is low on teammates. She looks to see if a Baron steal is possible, but it doesn't work out. Fiora dives in and sacrifices herself to the Moon God, giving Zotus the power to pull off the stunt you're about to witness. She flees, throws out a Crescent Strike. Lunar dashes Aurelian Soul, getting the reset. She continues the kite, lands a Crescent on Riven and dashes to her twice, pulls her back with Moonfall, gets the kill, and Zonia's Jinx sets up a super mega death rocket and she flashes it, dodges the zap, strikes Yorick, Jinx flashes, Luden's Echo helps burst her down, strikes York again for the Quadra, and poor Kled can't do much without Skarl by his side. He tries to waddle away, but the Penta is inevitable. Zotus joins her minions to take down the Nexus turrets and eventually win the game. And finishing us off, we have Legit on Graves. A post-dragon fight is about to go wrong for the red team. Nar starts off by throwing Annie and Legit into the wall. He gets away, but Annie doesn't get so lucky. He starts off focusing Thresh, quick draws away from the box and dodges both Descendants and Wallop. He's going to be kiting to the left and uses collateral damage offensively and defensively. Nar and Zack back off. He dodges the incoming Flash Frost and baits Glacial Storm. Flash his last slingshot, taking down Zack in the process. He baits another one of Anivia's spells and gets the double. He dodges Flay, ignores Thresh, and focuses on the back line. Quick draw gets him the triple end of the line is going to be getting him the quadra and of course the penta and for our bonus play we have captain barbosa on Gangplank. Now this has to be one of the most unique ways anyone has ever escaped a situation. Captain Barbosa uses Taunt and it's super effective. He activates Ghostblade, Nautilus flashes, and his dredge line is blocked by a Krug. How did that happen? Well, without saying too much, let's just say the Captain had a little help from a giant Minotaur with the ability to headbutt things. Speaking of things, if you use the link underneath this video in the description box, you will be on your way to getting 10% off any subscription to Loot Crate. If you ever wanted cool stuff delivered to your door, well, Loot Crate has you covered. The theme for this month is horror. So if you're into some super spooky stuff and can't get off Mr. Bun's wild ride, then give this month's Loot Crate a try. Looking for gamer swag, aren't decked out enough in weeb gear, or perhaps you're into some WrestleMania, brother. Loot Crate has it covered whatever your needs. If you're on the fence on whether or not to use Loot Crate, grab yourself a cheaper box, some starting at only 10 bucks. And as a reminder, I will be at TwitchCon doing a signing alongside Ankle Spankin and Rad Puppy and some other cool cats, so hit us up on Twitter for more details. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you again for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.